Just how good was Thomas the Hitman Hearns? Being trained by the legendary Manuel Stewart at Kronk's gym, Hearns was a freak of nature. Being 6'1", he fought in the welterweight division all the way to cruiserweight division. He was an opponent's worst nightmare, the reach of a heavyweight, tall, lanky, quick. He defeated Jose Cuevas in 1980 for the WBA welterweight title. He defended it three times until September 16, 1981, which he lost by TKO to the legendary Sugar Ray Leonard. On December 3rd, 1982, he beat Wilfred Benitez for the WBC in the ring light middleweight titles. He had a successful defense against Roberto Duran, defeating him by TKO, and then in 1985, he bumped up to middleweight, which he lost to the legendary Marvin Hagler by TKO. He had a rematch with Sugar Ray Leonard in 1989 for a super middleweight title, but ended up with a draw. He bumped up to light heavyweight and then cruiserweight, defeating popular opponents like Virgil Hill, Andrew Maynard, and Nate Miller. His last fight was in 2006 against Shannon Langberg. He won by TKO. And in 2012, he was inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame.